Right, hello YouTube, uh, Military Reviews UK here, and today we're going to be looking at two masks today. Uh, the M65 on the left, the uh, uh, previous current issue to the German Armed Forces, and on the right, the M65Z, the civilian uh, defence version of the M65. Uh, variations of this mask include the M62, the M65A1 I believe it's called, and the Coretta. Um, there's possibly more but I can't remember. Um, so yeah, let's have a closer look at these two masks. Right, so first of all we're going to be looking at the M65, the military version of the M65Z. So, you've got the inhale valve here. Uh, it's standard 40mm threading, uh, which is like the NATO standard. Um, exhale valve here, this bit can come off to reveal the valve inside. It's just a standard um, disc valve and the same with um, the inhale. The eyepieces are made of plastic, as you'd expect, um, and it's made of sort of brown rubber. So, um, the eyepieces are metal and they're crimped around the outsides, two attached. Um, head harness, made of rubber, it's the uh, standard sort of five point head harness and it has, if I can untangle it, this uh, neck strap which you can put it so you can hang it around your neck when it's not in use. Um, then you go to the inside of the mask, Inside of the mask is pretty standard, you've got the oral nasal cup, you can see the exhale valve in there, which also doubles up as the uh, voice meter. Um, and the inlet is underneath the oral nasal cup. Uh, it's quite hard to see in there. Oh, let me just turn up this. You can just about see in there. You can see the inhale valve right at the bottom there. And at the bottom of the mask, um, you can see a little sort of slit in the chin right there and that is so that sweat and stuff can drip out I believe um, the all nads cup pretty standard you've got the two disc valves here to stop the eyepieces fogging up um, you've got an inner seal here which makes the mask more comfortable and creates a more effective seal this one is size 2, you can tell from the marking up there, and there are markings inside the mask too, uh, indicating that this mask was made by our, I think that's how it's pronounced, I'm not, probably see that if I turn up the brightness, there, the our mark, um, and I'm not entirely sure when this mask was made, I'll see if there's a manif. Right, this mask was made in 1982, you can tell from this little stamp here. You can see the 82 on there. So this was in unissued condition when I've got it. When I got it. Uh, you can easily find these in unissued condition, they're fairly common masks. Uh, you can get them for a fairly decent price too. Right, so now let's look at the M65Z. Right, this is the M65Z, the civilian version of the M65. Structurally, there's pretty much no difference to the mask, um, other than you've got a, a soft rubber exhale valve that you can press in, um, as opposed to a hard plastic one on the M65. And the rubber is different, it's um, darker and shinier. Uh, that's probably because Either it's finished differently, um, it doesn't matter if it's not matte because it's not going to be used in any sort of combat situation. Um, and it might protect from different agents or something, it could be a completely different rubber. Uh, you've still got the metal uh, crimped eye lens things uh, and plastic lenses. Uh, it's no drinking tube or anything. Um, inside of the mask, pretty much exactly the same. You've got your um, exhale valve, inhale, exhale and everything. Except 
if I can just bring the strap over to the mask. Except on the M65Z, you can see at the top there, you've got little holes there. That is, that is so that you can attach optical inserts, like glasses. Also, the exhale valve is slightly different, I think. Let me just check that. Yeah, I didn't detail it before, but on the M65, the exhale valve has got a sort of plastic grate over it. I'm not entirely sure why, but um, this one hasn't. You've still got the uh, disc valves and everything. It's still made by our. I think this one was made in 75. Also, this mask doesn't have a neck strap, uh, but one can be attached through these flaps here. So yeah, that's the M65Z. So now I'm just going to show you what the M65 looks like whilst being worn. Right, so this is the M65 as worn. Um, obviously there's no voice emitter, so uh, you won't be able to hear me very well. The XL valve sort of doubles up as a voice emitter, but generally that's not as clear as a voice emitter. Um, the head strap, if you've got long, sort of long hair like mine, isn't very good at all. It's uh, really kind of drips onto your hair. Um, it's relatively comfortable. I mean, I think mine's maybe a size too small. In fact, no. I think mine's okay to be honest, but it is still quite tight, like um, around the face. Um, breathing resistance is not. Uh, it's quite strong. It's not the uh, most easy uh, mask to breathe through. Like you can see as I breathe in how much it sort of bends in from um, sort of. Uh, I think that will be low pressure. I don't know. But yeah, it's not the. Uh, I'm gonna admit it's not the greatest mask in the world, but um, it is. It's one of my favourite masks, to be honest. Um, so yeah, just so that's the sort of front view, side view, from the other side. Um, I'm not going to put on the M65Z because that uses an older FE55 filter which contains asbestos. So I won't be putting that one on. Anyway, another thing I've noticed: the my, the oh, my nasal cup is really effective. The uh, lenses haven't fogged up at all, uh, so that's a bonus. But yeah, other than it being pretty uncomfortable, the breathing resistance being pretty uh, strong, it's a really decent mask. It's uh, it's pretty light. Uh, you can easily shoulder a rifle because of the uh, centre-mounted filter. Like it doesn't have to be specifically made for left or right-handed shooters, uh, which is good. Um, so yeah, pretty decent mask. All right, so uh, that concludes uh, this video, pretty basically. Um, on the left, you have the M65Z. On the right, the M65. Both very uh, well-made masks. Um, I definitely recommend getting one if you're interested in one for your collection. Uh, they're very interesting, in my opinion. And as I said previously, they're my favourite mask. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching, uh, maybe consider subscribing, leaving a comment, liking it, uh, any questions please feel free to ask, I'd be happy to answer them, um, so yeah, thanks for watching, see you in the next video.